What's up people, it's Josh Hewitt and once again it's time to do it with Hewitt. In this video I'm going to set you up with a core workout that includes the best three ab exercises according to a Berkeley University study and I'll post a link to that study in the description section down below. So the three exercises are ab wheel rollouts, power wheel pikes, and hanging leg raises. So let's take a look at some progressions and variations of these exercises. First, let's take a look at ab rollout. Now, if you find ab rollouts to be a little bit too challenging, or if you're a beginner, you can start with this progression, which is called the plank walkout. You can start from a standing position, reach down, touch your toes, and then slowly walk your hands out until you reach a push-up position. You can even progress to walking out until your hands are slightly above shoulder level or above your head. Be sure to keep your core tight throughout the movement. Let's take a look at the actual ab wheel rollout, shown here using the power wheel, which you can check out at strongestcore.com. Of course, this exercise can also be performed by using the smaller ab wheel, which you can find at most fitness shops or Walmarts for around 10 bucks. Keep your core tight as you extend and make sure that your lower back doesn't round out. You wanna make sure you keep a rigid midsection throughout the extension. As you get stronger, you can increase your range of motion and reach further out into the rollout. But what if you don't have access to an ab wheel? Well, you can also perform this exercise using a barbell with a plate on either end. Right here, I'm using an easy curl bar with two 10 pound plates. If you have access to a free weight set, this is also very effective and easy to set up. The same principles apply. Roll out with control, gradually increasing your range of motion as you get stronger. Always start with a short range of motion to test your core stability when beginning this exercise, and then you can gradually increase it. Here's another basic alternative if you don't have access to a barbell and plates or an ab wheel. You can perform a very similar movement using an exercise ball, a stability ball. Although I don't find this variation quite as effective as using the bar or the ab wheel rollouts. Now the ultimate progression to the ab wheel rollout is to perform it from the feet, from a standing position. Now this is very challenging and I have an entire video series dedicated to progressions towards performing this exercise from a standing position. I'll post a link right here on the video as well as in the description section below. I mean, but for the time being, get really strong with performing the kneeling ab wheel rollouts and you can have this as an ultimate goal down the road if you're a little ambitious and as crazy as I am. The next exercise in the series is the ab wheel pikes. Now let's take a look at a beginner progression if you find the actual ab wheel pike to be a little challenging. You start off in a push up position and you alternate bringing one knee towards the same side elbow while maintaining your core tight tension and squeezing your abs tight every time you lift the knee up. Hold the position, contract hard, try not to let yourself dip from side to side. Now let's take a look at the actual ab wheel pikes. Now here I'm performing a warm up using a bent knee position. I suggest you warm up performing these knee tucks before you get into the actual straight leg pikes. Every time you extend, make sure you're in a nice straight position. There's no excessive arch in your back when you reach the legs out. And after performing several of these, progress up into the straight leg pike. So hips going straight up in the air, pulling the wheel in towards you by strongly contracting your abs. So you're almost going up into like a handstand position. The more range of motion you can get, the better. Just make sure you're staying nice and straight in the legs and the arms and you're flexing at the hips. If you don't have access to a power wheel, you can also perform this using a stability ball. So just put both feet over top of an exercise ball, get your balance, and then again, warm up bringing your knees in. And this can also be performed as a pike position with your legs nice and straight. If you find that too challenging, place your feet back further over the ball so the ball is closer to your knees. And this will give you a little bit better leverage, making the movement easier. And here's another variation using a couple of sliding discs. So quick shout out to Omar Isaf, Chef Buff. Thanks for the shirt. So this variation can also be performed using a couple of Frisbees, but you need to have a, a floor that you can slide on. So either a um, linoleum or hardwood floor, probably wouldn't work as well on carpeting or uh, rubber matting in a gym. As long as you have a floor that has some slippage, you can use these discs as plate your, place your feet over the disc of the Frisbees and you can perform the bent knee or the straight leg version of the, the knee tucks or the pikes. Again, same form applies. Keep your core tight throughout and your back flat. Finally, let's look at the last exercise in the series, the hanging leg raises. 
Once again, here's a beginner progression. You want to lie down flat on the floor and then have your hands pressed up against a wall behind you to keep your upper body nice and rigid and secure so that your shoulders aren't lifting up while you're lifting your knees. You want to contract your abdominals hard while you slowly raise both knees up towards your chest until your hips come slightly off the floor. Keep your core tight throughout. If you have something overhead that you can hold on to that's secure, like uh, underneath a couch or a frame of a bed or a banister or a railing or something, that will work as well. Just make sure that your upper body is secured while you're maintaining core tension and slowly lifting the knees up and then controlling on the descent. Finally, we get into the actual hanging leg raise. So if you're at a gym and you have access to one of these Roman chairs, you can support your upper body on the pads, on the forearms, and then raise the legs with control, squeeze at the top, and then slowly extend them back down to the straight position. This can also be performed with straight legs, which is quite a bit more challenging. Now, if you don't have access to a Roman chair, you can also perform this on a parallel handles of a, a dip machine. Same basic form applies. Keep your upper body nice and stable. Lock the arms in place. Bring both knees up towards your chest and contract the abdominals hard. Now I'm going to demonstrate the hanging leg raise using an overhead bar, such as a chin-up bar. Now you could do this just hanging with your own grip strength. Of course, your upper body, your grip strength will become the limiting factor. So here I'm demonstrating the use of a couple of uh, ab straps. Now this is a great tool for hanging leg raises. They loop right around your arms, right up to around the armpit, and then you grab onto the straps themselves and bring both knees up towards the elbows, contract the core, and then control on the way down. Now you want to perform this movement relatively slowly so that you avoid swinging and you maintain tension in the core. One of the more challenging variations of a hanging leg raise is to hang with straight arms and then raise both legs up as high as you can with straight legs. So here's how I suggest you incorporate these three exercises into a workout. You're going to perform three rounds of a strength circuit, starting with the ab rollouts, progressing to the ab pikes, and then finishing with the hanging leg raises. It's 10 to 15 repetitions each, taking up to 30 seconds between exercises. So choose a variation of those three exercises that's appropriate for you and let's give those abs a beating. Until next time, stay strong. Eccentric standing ab wheel rollouts is another great progression. Simply perform the eccentric or lowering phase of the exercise slowly and under control, trying to get to full extension, chest touching the floor, and then bring yourself back to the start position from the knees.